After calling 11 witnesses, the defense rests in the Chad Daybell trial. The Idaho man faces murder charges in the deaths of his first wife and his current wife's two children who once lived in the valley. Daybell chose not to testify. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum reports on conflicting statements that were made by Daybell's kids in court. All right, and it's your decision to not testify, is that correct? That is correct. Chad Daybell, the self-proclaimed doomsday prophet, chose not to take the stand in his trial. His defense resting its case on Thursday. The prosecution followed with rebuttals, poking holes in the testimonies of Daybell's adult kids who testified on his behalf Monday. Here's what Emma Murray told the jury about not wanting to learn the autopsy results of her mother, Tammy Daybell, provided by law enforcement. I told them I didn't want to interview with them. I wanted to see the results and I did not want to discuss it with them. And do you recall them indicating you wouldn't have to do an interview? They were just going to share the results with you. They never said that. But in the state's rebuttal, an audio recording from February 2021 revealed the truth. We're just not interested in interviewing, answering any questions. We just want to see it. Sure. Uh, we'd like to at least let you know what's in it uh, and tell you about it. We're not asking for an interview. Tammy died of asphyxia on October 19th, 2019. During Garth Daybell's testimony, he said he got home in the middle of the night after work and everything seemed normal. As I passed their bedroom, I heard my father snoring. And is it clear that it was your father snoring? Yes. Okay. You had no other indication of that your mother was snoring or making any noise? I didn't hear anything of that sort. The defense confirmed Garth was awake into the early morning. What did you do after you went into your bedroom? Um, I got on my computer and I watched YouTube for a few hours. But a new state witness who worked with Garth that night told the court what Garth said a week after Tammy's death. I remember he said that he found her when he got home from work and um, he didn't know where his father was. And I don't remember if he said that she was in the bed or next to the bed, but she said she was kind of pale and her lips were blue. Just 17 days later, Daybell married Lori Vallow, a woman who moved from Chandler to Idaho to be close to him. Authorities found Vallow's two kids buried under the Daybell property in June of 2020. I'm Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum. And there won't be trial tomorrow. The prosecution will present more rebuttals, though, on Tuesday. You can scan the QR code on your screen so you can stream it live on our Fox 10 Phoenix YouTube channel. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum will be providing live analysis during the trial.